what is up crew? So recently I traveled down to Queenstown, New Zealand, and there was a few recommendations from friends, family, um, people on Instagram, just basically saying, yo, you gotta go see this place, go and do this thing, and most of all, go and eat at these places. And one of the most recommended things to do, believe it or not, the most recommended thing to do in Queenstown was to go and suss out Ferg Burger. They had some delicious burgers. But as I was chatting to some of the locals and some of the other people traveling, they started to tell me that there might be a rival burger. There was three that most commonly came up. There was Devil Burger, Ferg Burger, and The World Bar. Now, all of them had high recommendations or like highly rated burgers. And so I needed to know for myself and for you guys, which one would reign supreme. So I went through to all three. I ordered the equivalent of the same burger at each place and I rated them. Now, with any kind of rating, we have to have a rating system. So we're going to rate this based off size, taste, cost, and lastly, the sides. is going to be Devil Burger. Now for the size of the burger, I gave it an eight. It was quite big, but more so less in height, more in width. So it comes out and it looks delicious, but it looks very flat. You can tell that the, uh, I guess the meat and all of the sauces are very well spread out, but still a very filling burger. In terms of taste, I gave it a six. Now the burger didn't have the most the most flavor to it. And if anything, it actually started to taste to me a little bit more like a curry. It was a good burger, but on the list or on the taste scale, probably a six. In terms of cost, cost was pretty standard. It was 16 bucks for the burger and it was $6 for the sides. So 22 bucks for a good burger, I can't complain. In terms of the sides, uh, there was a, I gave it a five. The chips, they were nice, but there was nothing special about the chips. It was just like they threw some things in the fryer. Um, wasn't exactly salted, but you know, the whole burger and chips combination still got me there. Location number two was Ferg Burger. Now these guys, I was happy. For size, I put them down as an eight. Now not as wide as the Devil Burger, but in terms of height, there was so much compacted into this burger. And the flavors, okay, let's get over to, so I'm happy with size, let's get over now to the taste. Taste-wise was so damn good. The combination of flavors, the sauces, the use of salads and how it complemented the meat, the burger was just delicious. All right, so for taste, I gave it a nine. In terms of cost, it was like 19 bucks for the burger and just uh, about $6 for the fries. So I'd say it's pretty stock standard pricing and pretty happy with that, especially for how busy Ferg Burger was. It was actually incredible to find that they had such low prices for the burger because they could easily throw it up. Um, and I think everybody would happily pay it, but they keep it pretty standard, which I'm pretty happy about. In terms of the sides, the sides were only a six out of 10. Like they were nice chips, but it was just again, like they really bang it on points with their burger and it doesn't really seem like they put too much effort into the sides, but the burger's so good they don't have to. So with that, they've got a six for the sides and Ferg Burger so far is pretty, pretty damn good. And the third location was the World Bar. Now this one was talked up a little bit by a few people, meant to be pretty big, uh, really tasty, and some of the locals were really jazzing it up. So I went there and I sussed it out. Disappointments. Now, it was pretty good. In terms of taste, I gave it a seven, right? So a little bit better than the Devil Burger, but size-wise, it only got a three. The thing was tiny, and I was not happy about it. For the cost, which was, 30 bucks, I thought that it would be a little bit bigger, but they went with um, like a bit of a fancy setup and it really disappointed me. Again, taste wise, better than the uh, better than Devil Burger, but when you kind of like rate it in or take in some bits and pieces for size in, was not happy. One thing they did do well though, was the sides. That was by far the best chips I'd had there in Queenstown. 
Um, so I don't know if that's what they were talking about when they thought World's Bar would actually be good. So the sides did get a rating of eight, uh, delicious chips, but sizing wise, I mean, are you feeding children or are you feeding adults? Because that was shocking. <laughs> so to summarize and taking all the bits and pieces into consideration, Ferg Burger still comes out supreme. The burger was so delicious. The sizing was great. Um, bang for buck. Even the sides were, you know, the sides were moderate. It'd be nice to have some good chips with it, but the burger was so damn tasty, I didn't even think about it. Uh, like, this was the reaction I had when I first tasted it. You can check this out. Shut up. I've had my two bites, and it was worth the hype. Like, this is huge. The beef. So good, like it's almost not medium rare, but not burnt. It has so much flavor and moisture to it. All of the sauces and everything else in the burger seems to complement it so well. And I seriously think, look at the fucking size of this. They're the three burger places the World End, Ferg Burger, and Devil's Burger. And number one, reigning supreme, is Ferg Burger. So I highly recommend to go and try that out if you're ever in Queenstown. Thank you guys for watching. Please, if you want to see more things, like and subscribe. Show us some love. And I'll see you in the next episode. Peace out.